This is part 49 of Bootstrap tutorial. In part 47 of this video series, we discussed using the Bootstrap Scroll Spy plugin with a horizontal navigation menu. In this video, we'll discuss using it with a vertical navigation menu. So here is what we want to achieve. Notice we have the navigation menu on the left and the images on the right. As we scroll up and down these images, we want the respective links within the navigation menu to be highlighted automatically. If you notice, both the navigation menu and the images are present in the same row. So we are going to create a row with two columns. The first column is going to be three units wide within which we will have our navigation menu and the second column is going to be nine units wide within which we will have all our images. So let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in our previous video. At the moment what we have got is a horizontal navigation menu. So first let's go ahead and create a container. To create a container we create a development with class container. Inside this container let's create a row. To create a row we create a development with class row. Inside this row we are going to create two columns. The first column is going to be three units wide. So I'm going to use call access three class and the second column is going to be nine units wide. So let's use call access nine class. Three plus nine is 12, the number of columns on which the bootstrap grid system is based. So within this column, which is three units wide, we're going to have our navigation menu. And we already have the HTML for the navigation menu. So I'm going to cut this HTML from here and place it inside this column which is three units wide. And then we want our images within the column that is nine units wide. So let's cut all these div elements that contain our images and then place them inside the column which is nine units wide. We don't need this container anymore. So let's go ahead and delete the container. At this point, let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, we don't get what we expect. We want this navigation menu to be a vertical navigation menu. So we have to make some modifications to the navigation menu HTML that we have here. First of all, we don't need these three classes. So I'm going to delete them from the nav element. I'm going to leave the ID there because we need that in just a bit. We don't need this div element anymore. So I'm going to delete that. We don't need this div element either. So let's delete that as well and we don't need this development also so let's delete that as well. Let's remove these white spaces here and let's also delete the corresponding closing developments. Let's format this HTML a bit. Now if you notice what we've got here, these are actually navigation pills. To get these navigation pills, we are going to use two classes, nav and nav pills. So we already have the nav class here on the unordered list. And let's also use nav pills class. And if you look at these navigation pills, they are stacked on top of each other. So to get them stacked on top of each other, let's use nav stacked class as well. Let's save our changes, reload our web page. Notice now we have our navigation menu on the left and look at this as we scroll down, the navigation menu is also scrolling up. We don't want that to happen. We want the navigation menu to be fixed. And also notice we've got you know extra space here at the top and that's because we're using a custom class on our image div elements which is div style and if you look at this class we're actually adding 40 pixels padding at the top so we don't need that padding anymore so what I'm going to do is delete you know the class from all the image div elements let's do that All right, so let's go ahead and reload our page. Now notice we don't have that extra space and we want the position of this navigation menu to be fixed at the top, you know, 20 pixels from the top basically. To achieve that, we already have an ID for our navigation menu 
and the ID is main nav bar. So within our style section, let's use the ID main nav bar and we want its position to be fixed 20 pixels from top. So I'm going to set position to fixed and we want to be fixed at 20 pixels from the top. So let's save our changes, reload our web page. Now notice the position is fixed at the top and as we scroll, look at that, the respective links within the nav bar are highlighted as expected. Now we have the navigation menu on the left hand side. If you want it on the right hand side, then all you have to do is move this HTML, basically move this column, which is three units wide, after the column, which is nine units wide. So when we reload this now, we have the navigation menu on the right hand side, and it should still continue to work exactly the same way as before. Thank you for listening and have a great day.